That was a good race, McQueen and Cruz. Wow, I feel incredible with this body. Yeah, it's so cool. I know, right? Ugh, that was a good race, Jackson. Whew, no one can be faster than us, am I right? Ahem. <clears throat> Whoa, you're bigger us! Hmm, you say that no one's faster than you guys? Come on. Please, give me a break. We're way faster than you. And we have all the good designs. Huh, your little mini-series will never beat our 155 scale line. Move aside! Uh, then be let me beat you in the drag race. Okay, one, two, three. Wait, didn't mean now! Go! Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> Later, Pipsqueak. Now what will we do? Hmm. I think I have an idea, Jackson. What? What do you mean? Hmm. Let me go and talk to Ramon. You guys come follow me. Okay. Then. One day later. <sighs> ah. Ugh. Hmm, I'll beat you one day, Cruz. Huh, don't even sweat on it. Yeah, remember those little mini racers that we found before? Oh yeah, I wonder what happened to them. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sup? Yeah, <laughs> ka-chow! Whoa! Where'd you get those? Oh, you know, from our metallic series. You know, the one that you guys didn't like. Wait, 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 I want some some of that bling bling. I thought you had your bling bling McQueen. <laughs> I really want that gold foil. Hey guys, what is up? It's Little Harky here. And before I start this video, I'd just like to say we have just hit 200 subscribers. I am really psyched right now. And we also just passed 33,000 views. And that just tells me that you guys love my content and you guys want me to keep on pushing through. And with the help of you guys, I can get to to 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I just wanted to let you know that. And now let's get into the review. So as you can see here, we have the another Mini Racers 3-pack. However, this time is a little bit more special. All these cars have been released before. The Fabulous Lady McQueen, Jackson Storm, and Cruz Ramirez. However, they have not been released as metallic versions. So over here on the bottom, you can see it says... Mini Racers Metallic Series. Over here we have a Metallic Jackson Storm Metallic. Over here, obviously this is like the most obvious one. This is Metallic Cruz Ramirez. And the first look at Fabulous Lightning McQueen as a Metallic variant. So first looks, I don't know if they're going to be released afterwards, but this is the first um, sightings of them. Over here in the package, we obviously only have a Cars logo, as all 2018 packaging will not come with a Cars logo, not Cars 3. Over here we have a metal vehicles label which just sells you, hey these are not plastic die casts. Here are the other um, packs that are going to be released. Red, Mater, and Ramon with red being the first look. And then over here is the one I'm really hyped for. Drippy, Francis Beltline, Chester Wood Filter, all in a three pack with Drippy as a first look. And here is a pack that I've already reviewed which you should obviously go check that out. Over here uh, is the pack that we already have about to open. So anyways, enough shenanigans, let's get on to unboxing this thing. I had this thing boxed for a while now, so I'm really, really excited to open this thing. Let's get on to it. So let's start off with my least favorite um, metallic car right now, Jackson Storm. The problem with this Jackson Storm is that, well, Jackson Storm's main color is black. There isn't a real way to make a metallic black color. You can't make black shiny. It's literally almost impossible. Or might as well compare it to the original. As you can see, both these eyelids are not metallic. Both of them have a grin on their face. Both of them have gray eyes. However, I think my metallic version actually has a different eye expression. Though, that could just be me. Here's the regular diecast Jackson Storm compared to the metallic version. Obviously, it's it's all like a glossy finish. So as you can see right there, the blue, it's been metallicified basically. Like as you can see right here, just dull, regular, no shine, blue or black. While here, look at that. That looks way sparkly. It's um, Jackson Storm's contingency sponsors are Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Um, right here is his back. 
spoiler igniter and really cool about this one i love this um the back rookie stripes are metallic unlike its actual predecessors which are just a regular orange these are actually metallic along with his oh my god i didn't realize before his tail lights are also metallic too and that really gives a good good feature to the metallic series like it it seems to be a pretty good series as you can see there his back window shines as well the other side his wheels don't shine unfortunately but i think that would have been way too much like that would have been asking for way too much so i can't really compare it to the original die cast but here it is right here i can't really do a comparison between the two considering that they both have different expressions because this one has a frown and this one has a friend that you don't know if you can do it there and this one has a little smile but I guess that's it for the Jackson Storm one. Now let's move on to the Cruz Ramirez car. Well, obviously, when you see Cruz Ramirez's, you know, metallic version, it is completely different. It is basically like if Cruz Ramirez took a bath in a tub of melted gold and the gold just got on her paint all over her paint. Wow, this just, this car is amazing. You don't even know how amazing it is. Like, look at this, this whole thing, every single part of it. It's metallic. Every single part. It's amazing. Look at this. this uh, the eyes I can't really understand because, well, none of the eyes are metallic. So, here it is. Here's Cruz. Her smile is the same. On the sides, she has, obviously, the number 95 right here. Like, the um, roof is pretty good. It's like a little scratch on mine, but this actually doesn't feel like it. Just the foil. Just the foil. Here is the side. It's amazing. I believe even the gray is metallic too, which is pretty cool. Over here is the back. Obviously the same license plate. And just the metallic everything. Like look at this look at those taillights. Taillights are so mesmerizing. Here's the side. Gold. And then the 95 up there. You can see a clearer image like that. Of the 95 right here, as you can see. But uh, and overall, this cruise is like amazing. Compared to its original die cast. Um, one, 155 die cast, it doesn't even compare. It's more like you can compare these cars with the, with the regular minis, but not the metallic minis. You can't really compare it with that. So anyways, let's get on with the main star of the show. So here it is, the Fabulous Lightning McQueen Metallic Mini. It is by far the best first look mini that we've gotten. It doesn't even compare to Rusty's Cruise. Now, all the decals are obviously the same. However, the metallic blue on this thing is phenomenal. And they even give a little shading to the orange to make it seem like more metallic. Like, as you can see here, he's like a yellowish orange color. Well, here is just pure orange. The text fonts are pure orange or more saturated. Here is a smile. Looks amazing. This McQueen is the original one. This McQueen is a metallic one. This one looks very, very dull in comparison. Like, look at this blue. It looks incredible. Like, honestly, I can't pick the of a car. That's better than this one. Here is the top 95s all around. Here is the back um, 95 for Doc Hudson. Look, even these things on the back, the the headlights aren't that shiny, but I can excuse that because the things in the spoiler are very shiny. I can see, as you can see from the thing reflecting, but I just love the shade of blue that they use, the metallic shade of blue that they use for the, for the Fabulous Lightning McQueen in the miniseries. And I really like it. It doesn't even compare to this one. Like, this one has a, a, a new expression. A way better expression than this one, as you can see. It has way better detail with it when it comes to metallic paint. And it's by far the best. People might say that, that the Cruise Mirrors Mini, the metallic mini, is way better than this one. But I say no. This one definitely is worth every single penny. I'd say this three-pack is definitely worth it. For any collector, and even any kid, anything, anyone who's interested, or even in the slightest bit, or even people who aren't even, don't even like the Metallic series, or even the mini races in general, I say, give them this pack and prove them wrong. This pack has the best, and I mean the best mini racers for your buck. This pack costed me $7, which means that this pack was a little pricey, because, well, the Metallic, the regular um, mini racers cost around $2. However, I actually paid two around like two and ten cents, two dollars and ten cents for each mini racer. But it's honestly pretty much worth it because would you rather have a dull 
plain old Fabulous Heidi McQueen or have the special first look edition of the Fabulous Heidi McQueen just for an extra 10 cents. Literally, the metallic foil does not cost that much on these cars. And what's best is that you're getting three. You're getting Cruz and you're getting Jackson and you're getting McQueen. But anyways, guys, I'd say definitely pick this up when you're in a store. Definitely buy it for any person who is into cars. Thank you guys so much for watching. And th thank you so much for t 200 subs. I see you guys commenting on the comment section below. All the time I'm reading all your comments. And feel free to leave me a suggestion. However, I do have an idea for what custom I can do next. And I also have to review the Dynaco hauler, so don't think that that's gone. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And this is Little Herky saying, peace.